Hey, Shalom, family, once again. I told you all to each and every one of you, brothers and sisters. I'm about to do a very important video at this time, brother and sisters. God, the way of Yah. It's very important that I bring this to the family of Yah at this time on the earth, brothers and sisters. Because you're going to know what it means uh, to be to God, the house of Yah. And anyone who ha have ever been a security guard, Know what it means. They've been taught, trained to know what it means to God. Things, buildings, people. Yes. So keep that in mind. You are the watchman. You are the watch person or being over possessions that belong to others. But Abiyah gave the Hebrew people, brothers and sisters, the greatest work of them all. To God, his words, his Torah, his witnesses of prophecies that he gave unto the prophets. And through the writing, it, it was told that the words, the laws, the prophets shall be entrusted to faithful men of Yah. Because in this earth at this time, Per many of the Hebrew men and women are not trustworthy with the words of Yah. We have many pretenders out there, brothers and sisters, to pretend to be righteous, but it's further from the truth. And with this video, it will expose many brothers and sisters at this time. You can know what it means to, to God and to protect the words of Yah, the living words of Yah that bring life and that are perfect and converting the whole person, making it simple ones wise. Brothers and sisters at this time, as we get into this lesson, there's much more than a lesson. It's a lesson of life. It's the standard of perfection. It's the way of life that leads to eternal life, everlasting life. Infinity, eternity, brother and sister. This is what everyone want. There's only one way to get there, brother and sister. But he entrusted this Torah, the laws of Yah, the Torah of Yah, with Hebrew men, and this must be passed down to faithful men of Yah and, and be kind and guarded with your life. Brother and sister, this is not a game, brother and sisters. And I'm going to go over these scriptures with you. I'm reading this from the translation because all we have at this time is translation to go by. Brother and sister, unless somebody have their hand on the original. Right here, we got the scriptures I'm going to deal with. And later, I'm going to deal with the translation called the Catholic Living Bible, brothers and sisters. The Confirmation Edition. So, brother and, and sisters, I'm in the area at this time with a little light, so I'm going to try to get this close as possible so you can see the scriptures as I read. I'm going to start us off with Genesis chapter 18, verse 17 and 19. At this time, brothers and sisters, Genesis chapter 18, The 19. Chapter 17, chapter 18, verse 17 and 19, excuse me, of Genesis. And y'all said, Shall I hide from Abram, Ham, what I am doing? Since Abraham is certainly going to become a great and mighty nation, and all the nations of the earth shall be blessed in him. For I have known him so that he commands his children and his household after him to guard the way of Yah. You see that, brothers and sisters? You see that, brothers and sisters? This is a command 
for his children and his household after him to guard the way of Yah. That is a, a, a command, an order, a direct order from Yah to guard the way of Yah, to do righteousness and right rulings so that Yah brings to Abraham what he has spoken to him. You see that? That's the command. That all of the things that Abraham Yah promised Abraham will come to pass. But the Hebrew people, the children of Abraham, must guard the way of Yah. That's why the laws, the Torah, must be entrusted. Because we see in this earth, and I'm going to give you a great example, a great, great example of the ones that do not guard, even of our own family, that have been, been tricked not to guard the way of Yah. Of Yah have one way that lead to life, which is in his laws. In the testimony of the prophets that was given to the prophets the record of Abiyah laws that they are forever and does not change. The laws of Yah converts the whole person in Psalms 19.7 making the simple ones wise brothers and sisters as we're going to get there. So this was entrusted from the time of Abraham, when Abiyah called him out from among his people. And brought him out of the city of Ur to Canaan. It started with Abraham, brothers and sisters, and even to his seed after him. That this covenant been passed down to to bring forth all the things that Abiyah have told Abraham that he was going to do for him if he obeyed him and walk up right before him, which he did. Brothers and sisters, this is how serious it is, brothers and sisters. This, how, this is the time we are in. What I give unto you today. Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 8, verse 13 reads, and I'm going to read this at this time from this. Catholic Living Bible translation because this particular translation shows it a little bit better. But the Catholic Church and with other organizations as well, and now the Hebrews help support them, that does not save God because the laws of Yah was trusted. With only one people. And only one people is God and, and, and entrusted by Yah to teach the law to the whole earth, first to their nation, to bring them under the rule, under the ban of Yah. Then out to the whole earth, brothers and sisters, we read here. Isaiah chapter 8, verse 7, I mean, I'm looking at 17 of the last chapter, the book. But Isaiah chapter 8, verse 13, 16, and verse 20. At this time. Let me get to the words of Yah by the mouth of Yahshayah. When the King James Virgin called him Isaiah. Yah's salvation, brothers and sisters. So, chapter 8, verse 13. The 16 reads. Let me get uh, pull it up closer so you can see it with me, word for word. Let me get there. Don't fear anything except Yah. They got the word Lord, but it's actually Yah. I went over there how they replaced the word Yah with the word Lord and God in translations. It said, Fear nothing but Yah of the armies of heaven. If you fear, which is reverence, Yah, reverence him, you need fear nothing else. He will be your safety. But Yezreel 
They got Israel and Yad, they got Judah, but as Yad have refused, which is rejected, his care, and thereby stumbled against the rock. You see, who is Yah of their salvation? See, who is our salvation? Yah. But because they rejected Yah, they stumbled against their own salvation. And lie fallen and crushed beneath it. See, it's a Barah, they got God, but it's Barah presence among them. See, I went too far over, but Yah present among, let me turn it. Right here, at the top of the page, among them has endangered. See that? Because they rejected Yah. So all Yah present among them endangered them at that time. Yes. Right. It's a right there, all these things I am going to do, says Yah. And seal it up for the future. And trust it to some. They got godly, but it's faithful men to pass down to faithful men of the future generations. See that? The same word of trust is referred to also God to protect. It's a right there is information. Write down this, the testimony, the prophecy. He said, I will wait for Yah to help us. The same word they got help is I, I will wait for Yah to kumba us. See, the word kumba is actually, in English, they got it's help us, but it's, it's kumba. Best. Kumbaya. Keep that in mind. Though he is hiding now, my only hope is in him. You see that? That's the Hebrew understanding right there, brother and sister, is in Yah, who is our salvation. But remember, the words early, Israel, Yah, and Yada rejected Yah. So the presence of Yah was danger to them. Yes, because they rejected Yah, so all y'all won't be with them. They turned to be the enemy of Yah. That's why all y'all put us out of that land, brothers and sisters, at that time. But that's why everyone is not entrusted. That's why I say, write down this information. Trust this to be passed down by faithful men. Yes, men that will walk in the ways of all y'all righteousness. Keep that in mind, because all Hebrew people, the nation is not faithful. And loving of Yah. Let me go to verse 20. It said, Check, it said, Check these witches' words against the word of Yah. See, they got the words of Barah, who is the creator. He said, If their message are different than mine, it is because. I have not sent them, for they have no light or truth in them. Keep that in mind and keep that in heart, what I'm about to show you, brothers and sisters. We want to check the words of Yah through the prophets. That's the only way you can check the words of Yah through the prophets. And then we want to check the words of someone else dealing with the same subject. I'm gonna go back to the um, book called the Scriptures at this time and finish it out. So at this time, it was very important, brothers and sisters, because the only way you would know your words and know somebody else's words, you gotta compare them on the same subject. We're gonna deal with this is one of the greatest subjects in the Scripture because it's dealing with your salvation.
And dealing with the forgiveness of sins we're going to deal with, the atonement. We're going to see the obvious words of the atonement that never change. And we're going to see the words of somebody else and their story. This is where we stand at, and this is where the whole earth, this is where all the Hebrew people stand, because we don't have all Hebrews that are not trusted, who are Israel, Yahites, that refer to themselves as Israelites, you know, the family of Yah, of the man, Yaakov, whose name was changed to Israel, Yael, Yah, upright strength with Yah. Ezekiel, chapter 43, verse 18 to 20, I'm going to show you in the prophet book of Ezekiel, some people say Hezekiah, I think his name, real name is Hezekiah, but it's, they say Ezekiel in the King James Version. Right here, you can see the third temple, the third temple, brothers and sisters. From so chapter 40 to 49, you see it talks about the third temple, the last temple that could ever be built in the history of mankind on earth. Well, Abiyah said he's going to come and set his throne and, he, and, and dwell among in the midst of the children of Yezreel, Yah, forever. This is the final temple, the third temple. The, the, Abiyah said in the third temple, I'm going to tell you before I get there, I just passed it. Let me go back, brothers and sisters. He said in the third temple, animal, animal offering is going to be reinstated. It never was done away with. He just stopped it. Because the people of Yah turned away from Yah and defiled it with unclean animals, all manner of sin in the land of Yah, in Israel, Yah. So he put them out there for punishment. You got to take this to heart, brother and sister, because the enemy came and said, Ab Yah hated animal offerings. And we're going to get there. I'm going to show you toward the very end how the laws of Yah is perfect. How would he hate something that is perfect? Only thing that wasn't perfect with y'all was mankind. Not his laws. Everything of y'all ever gave to man was perfect. The food and all is perfect. But some lying man, even the Catholic Church, brought these things forth. And many people pursued after them, followed after them, brothers and sisters. And then y'all warned you of these things. How this one, this little horn was going to come, which is the Pope, was going to come and, and speak great swelling words, typically to change the laws of Yah and the times and the seasons of Yah. What I'm telling you today, brothers and sisters, chapter 43 and verse 18, and we're going to look at this real closely right here. Let me get it on there. Start up. In verse 18 it reads, and he said right here, book of Ezekiel 43, and he said to me, son of man, thus said Master Yah, these are the laws. You see, these are the laws for the slaughter place. It talks about the reestablishment of the altar on the day when it is made for offering ascending offerings on it and for the sprinkling of blood on it. 19. And you shall give a young bull for a sin offering. See that? You don't read the words of the lion one. See? He said, it's going to be a young bull given for a sin off, so that's an animal offering to the priest. He's going to be given to the priest, the Levites, who are, the, who are of the seed of Zadok, who approach unto me, declares Master Yah. And you shall take some of its blood and put it on the four horns of the slaughter place and on the four corners of the ledge and on the rim around it and shall cleanse 
it and make atonement for it. See? That's the process of making atonement for the slaughter place. Let's go down to verse 24. Same chapter, 43. Verse 24 reads, And you shall, let me go, And you shall bring them before Yah, and the priest shall throw salt on them and offer them up as a ascending offering to Yah. It says, prepare a goat for a sin offering. You see that? Daily. For seven days and prepare a young bull and a ram from the flock. Perfect one. See that? For seven days, they are shall, excuse me, for seven days shall make atonement for the slaughter place and the clear and cleanse it. And order it. Excuse, and ordain it. You see that? Seven days, twenty-seven. And when these days are completed, it shall be on the eighth day and that after that the priests make your ascending offerings and your peace offerings on the slaughter place and I shall accept you declared Master Yah you got that, brothers and sisters. You got that. Let's go to Psalms. This is with the animal offerings. We're going to go to Psalms and see the very importance of our laws. And then we're going to see what the enemy slid in. All in a book for you to read and believe and trust in. That is further from the words of Yah. These are the riches. You gonna hear the word that people mutter. You hear all of these things you hear in the churches. Now you hear it on YouTube. You hear it on uh, Facebook. All over the earth, you hear these things, brother and sister. That is not the words of Yah. Let me get to Psalm chapter eighteen, verse thirty. Let me try to make it quick as possible. If, if my video stop, I'm gonna do part two. Hopefully not. Chapter 18 and verse 30 reads. They use the word El in the translation, but it's actually Bara. It says Bara, his way is perfect. See, his way is perfect. The word of Yah is proven. He is a shield to all who take refuge in him. So keep that in mind. 197, I want you all to see. It's very important about our laws. 197, right here, a song. The Torah of Yah, the Torah of Yah is perfect. Bringing back the beings. The witness of Yah is trustworthy. Making wise the simple. See, the ones that are ignorant of the truth. Making wise. See, so the laws of Yah is perfect. I'm showing you this so you can learn to believe the words of Yah. Because now you'll see where all the lies come in after I read this um, verse right here. And then, when you see the lie, they use it and wrote it in the, in the book called the Hebrew book. But it's further from the truth. From the, the obedience of Hebrews. Yes, we got um, disobedient Hebrews will say things like that. That is saying it all of you too at this time. Right here, we have verse 142, chapter 19, 119 of Psalms, chapter 119 of Psalms, and verse 142 reads, Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. If you don't want to understand what righteousness is, go to um, Deuteronomy 625. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your Torah, some translation, and your law is the truth. 
to seal that and confirm that. I want you to know that. The laws of Yah is the truth. As I'm going to go to the book of Hebrews. Now, in the book of Hebrews, this is not a book that was written by the Hebrews. You can see that. What I gave you before was, came from the prophets in the words of Yah. Now we're going to go into what they call the New Testament. And look at the book of Hebrews at 10. Now you're going to see a whole alteration, a whole transformation, a whole change of the words of Yah. That is one of the sin false. And you're going to understand it for yourself. Go back and listen to the video if you didn't uh, understand it. Hear the words of Yah carefully through the mouths of the prophets that were spoken by the words of Yah, his true testimonies. The words, the testimony of Ab Yah is sure. The laws of Yah is perfect, converting the whole person, making the simple ones wise. Ab Yah said in chapter 43 of Ezekiel that the slaughter place is going to be rebuilt. Animal offers are going to be given to make atonement for. And Ab Yah said he will accept this. Uh, and all of them will be given to the Zadok priests, the sons of Zadok, the tr uh, trustworthy ones of Yah. So with that, now we're going to enter into to show you, to prove to everyone who are in doubt and don't believe the words of Yah. Now you're going to see the false Messiah that never was. You're going to see the statements from his own mouth in the writer of this book that put this in there. You can use any name you want to to address this uh, prophet, this uh, false prophet, this messiah, false messiah. Hear the words carefully. I'm even going to show you they write it. It's marked. It's written in the book. It's nothing that I could change. It's written. I'm just reading it. And remember to go back and rehearse the words of Yah, the prophecies of Yah, the laws of Yah, the Lord's laws is perfect. Watch the slandering, the trickery, the deception, the lying words of the man with the pen, the writer in the book, and put these two books together. It's right here. Chapter 10 and verse 5, the verse 14. That's all I got to read. It sums it up all dead. Right here. Let's get it. I mean, verse, chap, I mean not chapter 5, chapter 10 of the book, what they call Hebrews, right here. Let me get to 5, verse 5, chapter 10, verse 5, right here. It said, therefore, coming into the world, he say, slaughtering, you see that? He jumped right on talking about the Tome here. The slaughterings and meal offerings you did not desire. See, they said this Messiah, this one, you can call him whatever name you want to call. So I did not uh, desire it. The slaughtering and the milk offerings. That's what he's saying right there. You did not desire it, but a body you have prepared for me. You see that? An ascending offering and an offering for sin you did not delight. See, they said the law of Yah gave in the stand with the Zadok priest. That that part they kind of passed in the priest before that he did not delight in it, but he but he gave it. He certainly didn't delight, but he uh, he, he put it as a law. That's what they're telling you right there. He did not delight in it. They're putting this in your mind and getting you want you to believe that he did not delight in it. I just read to you the laws are perfect. The laws he said he, uh, when he built in the third temple that never been built yet. That he said he's going to uh, reestablish these things. And he said he's going to accept this when all of these things take place. But now they're telling you right here in this other book, later, after I'll be out, I'll already um, put the nations out, somebody else came and wrote another book, then put all the books together, so you and try to make it you to believe that I'll be out, do not delight in these things. So keep all of that in mind as we read. Let me get to it. He said, uh, slaughtering and meal offerings, you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me. And ascending offerings and offerings, 
for sin you did not delight. Then I said, see, I come in the roll of the book. Some books say the volume of the book. So now they say this Messiah said he come in the volume of the book. Everything in the book was written about him. That's what they put into your minds. So let's keep reading. He come in the roll of the book. It has been written concerning me to do your desire.